I know I didn't make a video yesterday, and I don't, I didn't do a challenge the day before. And I am really upset over that. I was going strong for a really long while, over like two weeks. And then all of a sudden, down, right down to Chinatown. What I wanted to say is that I really don't know why I haven't been uh, uh, doing the, uh, the challenge as strong as I had hoped. Not like I'm super busy. I am just really, really lazy. And the point of this whole project thing was to combat my laziness. And I was good for a while, but all of a sudden I just, I just died and I didn't feel like doing it anymore. But now I procrastinated. Okay, two days ago I didn't do a challenge. Yesterday I didn't make a video and didn't do a challenge. So today I am making a vow to myself get it done. I have a big problem with uh, uh, keeping keep going. What happens is with me is that I start something and I go good for a while but then I slowly die down to a simmer and then I just sizzle out. And I have sizzled out. But that doesn't mean I'm done because today I have taken upon myself to bam complete the Rebecca challenge. I thought I was going to do a different book for today so that I didn't like have, you know, failed stuff hanging over my head, but I decided to stick with the Rebecca one and I'm glad I did because I really like it, so I'm going to read it. I stopped on the cold wet walkway just as I had always done before, but this time was different. The great big rose bush enveloped the mansion was still the same, the cobbled uneven walkways unchanged. Even the surrounding woods with their familiar sound and smells was the same. The something that was different was me. Last time I was here at the old rude mansion, I had no inquiries. There was nothing for me to wonder about. But now I had questions. I had wonder. What was different was that I now wanted to know things. I wanted to know the secret of that house, as it had been kept for me all these years. Eleanor Rude was the owner of this elaborate mansion. She was charming, friendly, and horribly vindictive. She did not mind me, but others could not even breathe a word about her, her house, or anything related to her. She had a husband once, Julian O'Rood. He died ten years ago in a fire, which is rumored to have not been an accident. They had a son, Charlie, but at sixteen he ran away from home and hasn't been heard from for four years. I couldn't say why I wanted to know the secrets of the home this time. Ellen was much older than I. She was thin and proud and had a pinched face. I had been coming here since I was a little girl. My mother made me. She said it would be good for my development to be exposed to an older, wiser model of a woman. I can't say for sure visiting with Mrs. Arood every weekend was good for my development, but she clung to me like a bad disease. We drank tea, and read stories, and gardened, and painted. And it was all very much the same, until one day a man from Ellen's past returned, bringing the secrets and truths of her and that house to life. Fail. I forgot to say that tomorrow's book will be the piratey tale of Treasure Island. Let me go get it. Pew. This was like my favorite book when I was a kid. I read it tons of times. About the young Jim Hawkins. If you have not read this book, go read it because it is awesome. Better than the many movies that has been made about it. It's third person narrative. I get to write about pirates tomorrow.